Demi Lovato says she and Selena Gomez are no longer friends, even though they were just in this photo together. This is one of the most complicated celeb friendships ever involving Miley Cyrus, Taylor Swift, even Justin Bieber. So we're gonna go through the full history of Demi and Selena to try to get to the bottom of this. Hey guys, it's Chloe for HollywoodLife.com and let's start at the beginning. 2002, when Demi and Selena both appeared on the children's show Barney and became fast friends. Can't handle all the cute here. Demi and Selena, of course, went on to become huge Disney Channel stars and remained total besties. They even started their own vlog in 2008 where they basically just hung out and did awesome handshakes. But someone not so into this was fellow Disney star Miley Cyrus, who actually made fun of the two in her own vlog. Insert vlog joke here. Yo. Yo, yo. Yeah, I said it twice, got a problem with that. Yo. Yo, yo. Yeah, I said it twice, got a problem with that. Yeah, I do. Maybe Miley was jealous of how close these two were, like at the Teen Choice Awards that year. But moving on, in 2009, Demi and Selena reunited on screen in the Disney Channel original movie, princess protection program and collaborated on this super cute BFF anthem, one in the same. Okay, but here's where things get really complicated. Demi gets asked by a fan about Selena in 2010, and here was her response. Ask Taylor, as in Taylor Swift. So it seems like Demi was not happy about Selena's newfound friendship with T-Swizzle. She hinted as much in Girls Life magazine, where she said she wishes the best for Selena, but that true friends don't let their friends or family be mean to you. If you can't trust somebody, you can't be friends with them. Now maybe Demi wasn't thinking clearly because in 2010 she also checked into rehab and admitted a few years later that the friends that were the most supportive during her recovery were Nick Jonas and Selena. As Selena called me crying when I was in there and was just so worried and I was like, look, I should be the one crying, it's all good. Um, but she was so worried and ever since then, um, you know, we've we've gotten closer and... Friendship back on track. They even reunited at the 2011 Teen Choice Awards. Selena also interviewed Demi on the red carpet at the VMAs that same year. However, speculation that they'd grown apart started again when fans noticed that they didn't interact at all at the 2012 Teen Choice Awards. And Selena left with her then-boyfriend Justin Bieber amid rumors he was pushing them apart. But we're going to get back to the Biebs later. 2013 was an on-again year for Delina. They showed support for each other's new singles on Twitter and Demi talked to MTV about remaining close to Selena. We realized that life is so short mm -hmm. and that when you have people in your life that love you so much, right. um, then you should just like always be around them. Okay, and Selena also performed on The X Factor while Demi was a judge in November 2013 and posted this picture backstage with the caption, it's just the evidence of forever, no matter what. They were also spotted getting dinner together a few months later and exchanging this super sweet hug. Okay, but then things take a dramatic turn. In July 2014, Demi unfollowed Selena on social media and a couple of hours later posted this meme, swimming away from your bullshit. Bye, bitch. Yikes. Demi quickly deleted the tweet, but fans naturally assumed that this was a diss at Selena. She was later asked on Watch What Happens Live why she unfollowed Selena. Take a look. I think it's just one of those things where people change and people grow apart. Cut to 2015, Demi re-followed Selena and gets this birthday message. I'm so grateful you were born, hashtag no matter what, hashtag forever. Demi responds, I'm glad you were born too, with the same hashtags. Selena was also caught bopping along to Demi's performance of Cool for the Summer at the VMAs next to a kind of scandalized Taylor Swift. Okay, to the most recent development, Selena and Demi reunited for this photo, so it looks like they're back on track to being besties, right? But wait, Demi just gave an interview with Complex Magazine, and when asked if she talks to Selena anymore, she straight up says no. But then she goes on to say it has nothing to do with Selena's relationship with Justin Bieber. She actually thinks Justin's a nice guy. So that clears up any of the rumors about Justin driving a wedge between them, but it did start rumors that Demi and Selena had already ended their newly reconciled friendship. Well, not so fast. Demi took to Twitter to clarify. Interviews are done months and months before the issue is published. A lot can change between then and now. Don't read into the bullshit. Okay, so if you're still following, that means Selena and Demi have had yet another feud and another makeup all within a three month span in late 2015. So there you have it. Demi and Selena are best friends forever once again. 
if the word forever means three to six weeks. But I have to hear from you guys on this one. So click on me on your desktop or down here below on your mobile device to subscribe and let me know. Do you think Selena and Demi will stay friends this time? Or will the drama just continue? Okay, so before Miley Cyrus was freeing the nipple and generally being super weird on Instagram, she was of course Hannah Montana. 